Hey guys, Beautiful Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be working on this home right here. And I'm going to be sharing with you all in details how I tackled each and every one of the corners in this space. I'll be starting off with the dining room wall. I took out all of the items that I didn't need and then I installed wallpaper and then I also included some boards to the design. I then brought in the console table and decorative pieces to finish up the space. I later decided to change the table to something much larger with a lot of storage because the client needs storage. So I changed the table and because it was boring, I decided to decorate it with items that I got from Lowe's. I cut this into two and then I attached it to the storage to give it a different look. Because of the need for a lot of storage, I added one more at this little corner here. I also added a decorative onlay to beautify this piece too as well. For the curtains, I'm going to be using Dollar Tree frames. And because the frames are not strong, I'll be gluing two together. I cut a little dowel to size and covered it with contact paper and that's what's going to hold the curtain to the frames. You can use it like this as it's standing vertically or if you like you can make it looking flat by turning it over horizontally. I added more lighting to the space and other decor items. And this is what the dining wall now looks like. Moving on to the corridor. Now this leads to the bedroom and there were lots of shoes and other items so I took everything out and painted just one wall dark pink and then the other walls white. I added a wall frame and a storage for shoes. The shoe cabinet looks really boring, so I'm going to work on it. And I used this item that I got from Lowe's, spray painted it gold, and I also added tape around each and every one of the drawers. I 
I added this cute little wooden onlay for the top. I spray painted it gold and used a strong adhesive and a nail gun to attach this. The look wasn't really getting me yet. I think it's because of the knobs, so I changed that for crystal knobs. Up on the wall to make the space look larger, I'm going to be adding mirrors from Walmart. I use command strips that can hold a lot of weight to put them up on the wall. I'll be adding a few decor items to the space to make it come alive. And here's what the corridor looks like now. The next space to work on will be the coffee station. And I did upload a video for the coffee station a while back. And I did mention that I was going to share with you all how the coffee station was going to tie in with the overall look of the home when I'm done. So this is a short clip of what I did in the coffee station for those of you who have not watched the video. I took Dollar Tree tiles. These are peel and stick tiles that I spray painted gold to cover up some parts of the wall. And for the backsplash. I added some little items to the cabinets and then I used Dollar Tree frames to decorate the handles and the drawers. Moving on to the next section and it is the TV wall. What I'm going to be doing now is marking out where I want to work on and the shelving for this TV section will be IKEA shelves. And the link for this is going to be down in the description box below. I went ahead to add lighting to the space. And as you can see, there's a provision up here for the light. And when I was done, I went ahead to start painting the TV wall. I would love to have a marble look in the middle and because the wall is not smooth and I'll be using contact paper, I used boards first on the wall before applying the contact paper. Now I'm going to be adding the shelves to the TV wall and I'll be flipping it to face each other like this to give it this nice effect. Now in between the shelves, I'll be adding acrylic to them. I would love to add more gold and more lighting to this space. So I'm going to be adding a board that I spray painted gold here at the top where my lighting will be. And I'll be adding more gold boards to give the space a much more luxurious and finished look.
I added lighting and covered up the wires. And like this one you see here at the top, I covered it with another extra thin piece of wood. Moving on to the kitchen area. I didn't really do much here in the kitchen, but the main goal was to paint the kitchen and make it look larger. And for me to achieve that, I had to add the same color that I used on the cabinets on the door, this door right here. So after painting the door, I also painted a part of the wall that's gonna connect to the cabinets to make it look like the kitchen has been expanded. I also added backsplash to the kitchen. The handles were silver, so because I had gold going on besides it, I took off all of the handles and spray painted them gold and installed them back to each and every one of the cabinet doors. When I was done, I added flowers that I got from Ross for a steel. Now these brought life to the kitchen. And then I also added some apothecaries and lights too as well to make the space brighter. This is the wall that connects to the door that I painted that automatically made the kitchen look much more larger. I really love how this space has turned out and I forgot to mention that the TV area has been left the way it is with no TV in it because the TV is not available just yet. But then I'm so happy with the overall look of the space. The Dollar Tree frames on the curtain look so pretty and it really adds the gold effect that I needed in my design. I offer consultancy services. Now apart from that, I also do in-house decoration too as well and I can travel far from where I am, but not too far. I'm talking about not 300 miles away. I can do five to about 30 miles away from where I am. And I'm in the Orlando area. Now, if you're interested in any of my services, the details for all that is gonna be down in the description box below. My travel restrictions are just for now because of family, but over time, I will be traveling further out and I'll definitely keep you guys posted. I want you guys to remember what the space used to look like before. So here are some short before and after videos. My client is so happy with her space now and nothing gives me more satisfaction than to see the joy on each and every one of their faces. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And for those of you who have not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button.